Chetniks' war crimes during the Second World War were primarily directed towards the non-Serbian population of Yugoslavia, mainly Muslims and Croats, and communist-led Yugoslav partisans and their supporters. Since their establishment in 1903, Chetniks had been instrumental to the nationalist and expansionist politics of Serbia. They acted to preserve the centralized Greater Serbian political system within the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. The historian Vladimir Zerjavic estimates that the Chetniks killed 29,000 Muslims and 18,000 Croats over the course of the war, mostly civilians. The historian Zadrivko Dizdar offers a similar figure, stating that 50,000 Muslims and Croats were killed. <laughs> war crimes and violations of customs of war against partisans Prisoners of war The surrender of captured Yugoslav partisans to the Nazis occurred during the November 1941 uprising in Serbia. General Dragoljub Mihailovic's staff handed 350 captured partisans to the Nazis, who executed them. During the Chetnik partisan conflict in western Serbia, the Chetniks captured over 100 partisans. A group of approximately 500 prisoners, including partisans captured in the towns of Gornji Milanovac, Kosjeric, Karan, and Planinica, were captured by Chetniks in the Ravnagora mountain range. Around 13 November 1941, Chetniks took a group of 365 prisoners to the town of Majonica and then to the village of Slovak. They were brought by Nazi and Serbian collaborationist forces to the city of Valjevo. The convoy was secured by Chetnik leader Jovan Skavovic Skava. The meeting between Mihailovic and the Nazis in the village of Divci at which they agreed to cooperate preceded the partisan surrender. Of this group of prisoners, the Nazis executed 263 on 27 November 1941 in Kruzik, Valjevo. Others were later executed, deported to concentration camps, or released. Partisans were executed on a regular basis captured 25 partisans and killed 24 on the site." Milos Urkic, commander of the Tuzla Brigade of the 58th May Corps, to the commanders of the Semba and May Brigades on 24 December 1943. Telegram No. 12.425 486 of the 14th of December 1943 from he he Major Radoslav Jurik, commander of the 2nd Kosovo Corps, reported, we broke trader Lieutenant Radilovic and his group. Fighting was conducted by the 2nd Student Brigade in the village of Gumnista, where 21 partisans and 9 captives were killed. According to the captive testimonies, 2nd Proletarian Division from Pico Dapchevik's Corps, which has three divisions, was here. This division consisted of the 2nd Dalmatian and 2nd Proletarian Divisions with around 800 people each, and the Forest Brigade with 400, a total of 2,000. They had a lot of launches and automatic weaponry, but little ammo. Eight of Kisirovic's Englishmen with coal. Sites and a radio station join them in Negbina. Their last portion is in Negbina and the majority in Klek. Many of their wounded died on the way. We captured 16 and slaughtered them without a court martial. The Brelanovis facility near Danilovgrad, which housed an orphanage before World War II, was used as a concentration camp for partisans and civilians. The largest imprisonments occurred in April and May 1942. As Yakov N. Jovovich wrote in letter No. 8 to Baha Stanisic on 30 May 1942, 489 people, ranging from one year to old men, were imprisoned in the camp. The number of prisoners was estimated at 610 in August 1942, and ranged between 700 and 1,000 at certain periods. It is estimated that Stanisic killed 426 partisans between April 1942 and September 1943. Chetniks received cash rewards from the Nazis for the capture and execution of Montenegrin partisans. <laughs> Medical personnel and patients On 31 October 1941, Chetniks attacked the hospital of the Pomorivlia Partisan Detachment near the village of Ursul. This attack was part of the general attack by Nazi and Serb collaborationist units on the Free Partisan territory of Lavaca. 
about 10 nurses and fighters from the Lavaca unit of the Pomorivlya Partisan Detachment were captured. All the prisoners were taken to Rakovac, redirected to Riljak and Lubostanya and killed, sent to concentration camps or escaped. Chetniks attacked the partisan hospital in the village of Gornya Gorevnica, captured 11 partisans, and killed a nurse between 4 and 5 November 1941. The prisoners were taken to Bradjici, where they were sentenced to death by a court martial. The sentence was carried out on the 5th of November in Bradjici. On the 25th of March 1943, Chetnik units of the Dinaric Division were ordered to begin cleansing the area of Croats and Bosniaks, and to create one national corridor along the Dinara mountain for the connection of Herzegovina with northern Dalmatia and Lika. The Chetniks slaughtered dozens of captured partisans, including renowned Croatian poet Ivan Goran Kovacic, during the Case Black operation in June 1943. The 1st Mountain Division reported, "...captured 498, of which 411 were executed." In Sikota Eastern Bosnia, in mid-July, the Chetniks found 80 wounded partisans from the 1st Proletarian Division, seized their weapons, and handed them to the Nazis. The Nazis killed them and burned their bodies. That month, Chetniks found wounded partisans from the 1st and 2nd Proletarian Brigades in Bizina and handed them over to the Nazis. The wounded partisans were later executed. Chetnik Dragton Keserovich found a partisan hospital in Jastabak in May 1944, shooting 24 patients and four nurses. The Chetniks discovered another partisan hospital in Sembrija that month, killing about 300 seriously wounded patients. In Koran, southeast of Udbina, about 90 seriously wounded partisans were hiding in 16 houses. They initially hid in the basements with 15 nurses for 10 days after Operation Morgenstern, a joint anti-partisan offensive of the Wehrmacht, NDH forces and Chetniks in Lika. The region held from 7 to 23 May 1944. Nurses, mostly members of the League of Communist Youth of Yugoslavia from surrounding villages, carried the wounded from the basements to Koran. A group of partisans guarded Trnova Poljana, protecting access to Koran, Kuki, and Vizuk from Lepak. Jovo Popovic knew about partisan posts, and brought Chetniks to the village by a roundabout route. They entered Koran on 2 June 1944 at 10 am, and killed 36 wounded partisans. Women and old men hid 56 other wounded partisans. Two doctors Krote Josip Kaifs and an Italian named Suppa, were killed, and a Dr. Feindler was wounded. Alexa Bakovic, commissar of the 8th Cordon Division, was murdered in Obrad Radokaj's house by Popovic. He was later praised by Momsilo Dujic, and received the star of a village. Topic. Suspected partisan collaborators Chetniks terrorized civilians suspected of collaboration with the partisans, intimidating others to discourage partisan support. A suspect's family was often tortured for collaboration with partisans. I have ordered the destruction of entire families, the burning of homes and entire villages where the partisans find their strongholds because some Serbian degenerates help the proletariat scum in some villages. This is what I ordered because we lose our best nationalists due to our own degenerates. In late December 1943, Draza Mihailovic ordered an anti-communist operation south of Belgrade. Colonel Jevram Shimic, General Inspector of the Chetnik Detachments, and Nikola Kalabic, Commander of the Chetnik Hill Guard Corps, were the main coordinators. After they signed a ceasefire and cooperation agreement with the Nazis in the region on 26 November 1943, Chetniks brought their units and began to clear the area. All areas close to Belgrade are infested with communists and their supporters. I order Commanders Major Mihail Yovanovich, Captain Lazovic, Captain Nikola Kalabic, Komarsevich, and the Mining Corps to be most energetic from south to north in cleansing all SREZS, especially Kosmaj. It is especially important to clear the SREZS of Groka and Umka. At the same time, I congratulate Captains Zivarjan Lazovic and Nikola Kalabic. The decree was fulfilled on 1 December, and there will be further promotions for accomplishments. Continuously inform others about the actions taken. Mihailovic's operation lasted from 20 to 21 December. Members of the Smederevo Corps under the command of Zivan Lazovic killed 72 civilians, nine of whom were children from 9 months to 12 years old. 
This became known as the Vranic Massacre. After the operation, Mihailovic reported, "...terrible inactivity of the elders of Avil Kor. Zivan Lazovic must come so he could show what could be done." In January 1943, under Komarsevic's command, Chetniks killed 72 partisan supporters in Pozovina Srez. In December, Chetnik commander Zivan Lazovic killed 15 peasant partisan supporters. That month, Chetniks under the command of Nikola Kalabic killed 21 peasants in Kopyare and, under the command of Vuk Kalatovic, shot 18 partisan supporters in the town of Sienica. Chetniks under the command of Sveto Bogachevic entered Sepchi, where they captured Suvasramechevic, Konstantin Voyanovic, Ilya Radoyevich, and Ilya Yovanovich, in August 1944. After torturing them in an attempt to extract a confession of collaboration with partisans, they killed all four. Topic: <laughs> Crimes against Muslims and Croats. The 28th of June 1941, Chetniks killed 47 Bosniaks, mostly women and children, in the village of Avtovac, which they later looted and burned. The 27th of July 1941, Chetniks under the command of Branko Boganovic killed 62 Croats, including five women and nine children, during the Bosansko Grahovo massacre. They also robbed and burned a number of Croatian houses in Bosansko Grahovo and five surrounding villages. More than 250 Croatian men, women, and children from Obiage, Karita, Luka, Ugarci, and Crni Lug were killed. During the massacre, Chetniks tortured Catholic priest Juraj Gospodnedic and burned him alive in front of his mother. Some Croats who had fled to Nin began to return to the area in early November 1941, but were blocked by Boganovic. 13 November 1941 According to a Nin police district report, Boganovic threatens and slaughters Croatian people every day until he kills the last Croat because according to him, no Croat shall live on his territory. On 12 November, Boganovic killed five shepherds from Luka and then took their 500 sheep, 20 cattle, and 10 horses. It's also known that a few days ago mate Samadzia, his wife, and child went missing under Boganovic's authority. Due to Boganovic, the Croatian people are forced to leave their homes and properties and run to Nin to at least save their lives. The 12th of November 1941, Boganovic said in Suva Desix in near Ninsko Polja, "There is no salvation for the Croats, and there is no need for them to run because they cannot escape. There is no Croatian state, nor will it be, and all Croats need to be slaughtered." A significant number of Bosniaks who worked in the nearby cellulose factory were killed. 11–13 April 1941 Chetniks killed 17 Croats in Dervinta. Between 13 and 15 April 1941, Chetniks killed 20 Croats and 5 Bosniaks and burned 40 houses in the area around Kapuljina. On 15 April 1941, near Mostar, Chetniks killed five Croats and burned the Croatian villages of Cim and Ilici. During the Italian fascist operation Albia around Biokovo from 16 August to 2 September 1942, Chetniks under the command of Peter Bakovic committed crimes against Croat civilians most notably in Zabiakovlia, where they killed at least 141 Croats and robbed and burned the villages of Raskin, Kozika, Dragiani, and Zupa. 5 September 1942 Bakovic mentioned these crimes in the report to Mihailovic. Additionally, I would like to add in regards to the departure of our criminal expedition in Lubiski and Imitski, that our Chetniks skinned alive three Catholic priests between Lubiski and Vigorak. Our Chetniks were killing all men aged 15 and above. Women and children under the age of 15 haven't been killed. Seventeen villages were completely burned. During the night of 1 2 August 1941, Serbs from the Donji Lepak area rebelled against the NDH, and about 2,000 Croats from Borisvak were forced to flee to Kulin Vakuf. Chetniks entered Borisvak, killed about 400 people, and destroyed the village including a Catholic church on 2 August. Crimes were also committed in Brotinja, Maslanovac, Donji, and Gonji Lepak. 
The 27th of July 1941, Chetniks threw 37 Croats into a pit and killed a group of 300 Croats who were being led by Father Waldemar Maximilian Nesta home from a pilgrimage in Nin at Trubar near Drivar. 9 to 10 August 1941, Chetniks massacred Croats, mostly old men, women, and children, including 49 children under age 12, in Krinjevca. Croatian homes were burned and robbed. 240 of the dead civilians were identified, including 34-year-old Catholic priest Kresimir Barisic who was tortured and burned alive, 49 children and 72 women, a number of whom were pregnant. Chetniks also killed about 70 Croats in the neighboring village of Vertos, and a number of people fled to Bihak. After the massacre, Croats almost completely disappeared from the region. September 1941 – Chetniks from Herzegovina and Montenegro killed 526 Bosniak civilians in Berkovici and Trusina. Of these, 365 were thrown alive into pits. Similar cases were recorded during 1941 and the first half of 1942. 6 September 1941 – In Kulin Vakuf, Chetniks killed about 2,300 civilians including old men, women and children. Most of the victims were Bosniaks, the rest about 100 were Croats from Vertos, Krinjevca, Borisvac and Bosansko Grahovo, villages destroyed by Chetniks in July and August 1941. The 7th of September 1941 Chetniks entered Dubiani, robbing and burning Croat-owned houses. Sixteen prominent Croats from Duljani and one from Prynja were publicly hanged to discourage Croats who had fled the area not to return. Of 326 Croats recorded in the 1937 Dubiani census, 80 remained in 1948. 1–2 October 1942 A group of Chetniks commanded by Momsilo Dujic, Main Rotvik and Velko Ilijic participated in organized retaliation against civilians in Garda and surrounding villages, killing 96 Croats. 14 to 15 October 1942 Chetniks reportedly massacred more than 500 Croats and Muslim civilians and burnt a number of villages in the area of Prazor Rama as part of Operation Alpha on the suspicion that the villages harbored and aided the partisans. According to Croatian historian Jozo Tomasevic, incomplete data indicates that 543 civilians were killed. At least 656 victims are known by name, according to another source, 848 people mainly children, women, and the elderly were killed. Historian Ivo Goldstein estimates 1,500 total deaths. The discrepancy is due to the fact that the estimates refer to different territories. Historians Anton Miletic and Vladimir Dedija estimated the number killed at 2,500. In a report to Draza Mihailovic, Chetnik commander Peter Bakovic wrote that, 15 Catholic villages were burnt down, and over 2,000 Sokchi and Muslims were slaughtered. The 18th of October 1942, a report by Italian Captain Vigiaca details the crimes to Major Angel de Matteis, head of the intelligence department of the Italian 6th Army Corps. This massacre was discussed on the trial of Mihailovic et al. by witness Alexa Franisic. The partisan newspaper Borba reported that, about 2,000 souls were killed by the Chetniks in Croatian and Muslim villages of Prazor, Konjic, and Vakuf. And, the districts of Prazor and Konjic have hundreds of slaughtered and murdered women and children as well as burnt houses. Chetnik units under Kosta Pekanak were active throughout the war in Kosovo, committing a number of crimes against the ethnic Albanian population. <inaudible> Genocidal crimes Chetnik ideologists contended that ethnic cleansing of certain areas was necessary to consolidate an ethnically pure Serb territory as a basis of post war Yugoslavia. The ethnic cleansing was expected to be conducted at a convenient moment. One of a number of documents that attest to this plan is Mihailovic's written memorandum to Pavle Jurisic of the 20th of December 1941. The goals of our squadrons are a struggle for the freedom of our people under the scepter of His Majesty King Peter II, to create Greater Yugoslavia and Greater Serbia within it, and ethnically cleansed Montenegro, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Siamir, Banat and Baka within Greater Serbia. 
A struggle for inclusion into our state life all other Slavic territories occupied by the Italians and Germans Trieste, Gorizia, Istria and Carinthia as well as Bulgaria and northern Albania with Škoda. Cleansing the state territory from all national minorities and non-national elements To create immediate common borders between Serbia and Montenegro, as well as between Serbia and Slovenia by ethnically cleansing Sandak from Muslims and Bosnia from Muslims and Croats. The precondition for creating an ethnically clean area was the destruction of the independent state of Croatia (NDH) and ethnic cleansing of the region inhabited by Croats and Bosniaks. About homogeneous Serbia, Stephen Moljevic's discourse about his Greater Serbian program, Moljevic wrote to Dragisa Vasic in February 1942, "Sad face." Two, regarding our internal affairs, the demarcation with the Croats, we hold that we should as soon as an opportunity occurs, gather all the strength and create a completed act, occupy territories marked on the map, clean it before anyone pulls itself together. We would assume that the occupation would only be carried out if the main hubs were strong in Osijek, Vinkovci, Slavonski Brod, Sunja, Karlovac, Nin, Sibinik, Mostar and Metković, and then from within start with an ethnic cleansing of all non-Serb elements. The guilty should have an open way, Croats to Croatia, Muslims to Turkey or Albania. As for the Muslims, our government in London should immediately address the issue with Turkey. English will also help us. Question is. The organization for the interior cleansing should be prepared immediately, and it could be because there are many refugees in Serbia from all Serb lands. Written evidence by Chetnik commanders indicates that terrorism against the non-Serb population was intended to establish an ethnically pure Greater Serbia in the historical territory of other ethnic groups most notably Croatian and Muslim, but also Bulgarian, Romanian, Hungarian, Macedonian and Montenegrin. Mihailovic went further than Moljevic and requested over 90% of the NDH's territory, where more than 2,500,000 Catholics and over 800,000 Muslims lived 70% of the total population, with Orthodox Serbs the remaining 30%. Chetnik commander Milan Santik said in Trebinja in July 1942, "...the Serb lands must be cleansed from Catholics and Muslims. They will be inhabited only by the Serbs." Cleansing will be carried out thoroughly, and we will suppress and destroy them all without exception and without pity, which will be the starting point for our liberation. According to a March 1942 document from the Chetnik Dinaric Battalion, the primary Chetnik goal was to create a Serbian national state in the areas in which the Serbs live, and even those to which Serbs aspire Bosnia and Herzegovina, Lika, and part of Dalmatia, where only Orthodox population would live. Bosniaks should realize that the Serbs were their allies, and not join the partisans. According to Bajo Stanisic, the final goal of the Chetniks was the "...founding of a new Serbian state, not a geographical term but a purely Serbian, with four basic attributes, the Serbian state Greater Serbia, the Serb king of the Karadordovic dynasty, Serbian nationality, and Serbian faith." The Balkan Federation is also the next stage, but the main axis and leadership of this federation must be our Serbian state, that is, the Greater Serbia." The Chetnik leadership saw their "...convenient moment," in January and February 1943. During this period, Chetniks commanded by Zaharira Ostojic and assisted by Pavle Jurasic and Vojislav Lukacevic's units conducted extensive genocidal operations and ethnic cleansing in eastern Bosnia and Sandak. After they finished, Durek wrote in a report to Mihailovic, To the Chief of Staff of the Supreme Command, operations in Priljevlia, Kajnice, and Foča Srezs against Muslims are completed. The operations were executed exactly as commanded. The attack started at the agreed time. All commanders and units have accomplished tasks to the general satisfaction. All the Muslim villages in the three mentioned Srezs are completely burned so that none of their homes were left intact. All the property, except cattle, grains, and haylofts, has been destroyed. The collection of human and animal food for the creation of spare food storage and feeding units that remained in the field for cleaning and screening of terrain and forest areas, and for the implementation and consolidation of the organization on the liberated territory, was ordered at certain places. During the operation, the complete destruction of Muslims, regardless of sex and age, was conducted. 
Victims totaled 22, of which two were accidental, with 32 wounded. Of the Muslims, about 1,200 fighters and up to 8,000 other victims, women, the elderly and children. During the initial operations, the Muslims ran towards Metalka, Kajnis and Drina. A small part of the population found shelter in Metalka. It's estimated that there are up to 2,000 refugees in Kajnis, and one part of it has managed to cross Drina before certain units have made cross-cutting of possible directions in that sector. The rest of population was destroyed. The morale of the Muslims was destroyed. It was an epidemic of fear of our Chetniks, so they simply surrendered. In late March and April 1943, the Yugoslav partisans expelled Chetniks from the region. The German command, equally willing to cooperate with Chetnik and Muslim collaborators, later halted the operations. Chetnik planners and ideologists postponed their blueprint for the end of the war. Draghi Savasic wrote in an April 1942 letter to Mihailovic, With regard to point 2b, where it is said that it is necessary to occupy the territory immediately and before anyone can get rid of the foreign element, I think that this issue should not worry us that much. I remember very well the situation Europe was in after the last war. Countries that were engaged in the war were so busy with their own internal affairs that no one, so to speak, was taking into account what others were doing within their own borders. In the first year after the end of the war, one good part of the unwanted population could simply be eradicated, and nobody would turn their heads. So, if we are smart, this issue of cleansing or reshaping and changing the population shouldn't be particularly difficult for us. A 13 February 1943 letter from the commander of the Osren Chetnik Corps from to the commander of the Zenica Military Chetnik Detachment says that the source of Chetnik genocide of Croats and Muslims dates back to the 1882 creation of an independent Serbia. Maybe these goals look to you and your fighters big and unrealistic. Remember great liberation struggles under the leadership of the Vodst Karadord. Serbia was full of Turks Muslims. In Belgrade and other Serbian lands, Muslim minarets were sticking up, and Turks carried out their stinky washings in front of the mosques as they are now doing in Serbian Bosnia and Herzegovina. Hundreds of thousands of Muslims flooded our homeland. Take a walk through Serbia today. Nowhere will you find neither Turks Muslims, their graveyards nor gravestones. It's the best proof and the greatest guarantee that we will succeed in today's holy struggle, and that we will exhort all Turks from these Serb lands. No Muslim will remain among us. The villagers and other people will move to Turkey. Our government in London, through the allied and friendly government of England, seeks to achieve the consent with the Turkish government so Churchill spoke in Ankara with Mr. Anonu. We will mercilessly destroy all Catholics Croats who wronged our people in these tragic days, as well as all intellectuals and economically stronger. The peasantry and the workers will be saved, and we will make them real Serbs by forcibly converting them to orthodoxy. These are the goals of our great struggle and when the time comes we will realize them. We have already realized them in some parts of our homeland. Trials <inaudible> 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 At the beginning of August 1945, the first public post-war trial before the court martial was held in liberated Belgrade of Vojislav Lukacevic and others. Public prosecutor Milos Minik accused Lukacevic of a massacre in Foča as commander of Chetnik units in Bosnia, participation in the extermination of the Muslim population, collaboration with the Nazis and Milan Nedić, and of crimes against Yugoslav partisans. Lukacevic, found guilty and sentenced to death, was executed in Belgrade in late August 1945. Chetnik leader Dragoljub Mihailovic was captured on 13 March 1946 by agents of the Yugoslav Security Agency and indicted on 47 counts. He was convicted of eight, including crimes against humanity and high treason. Mihailovic, sentenced to death on 15 July, was executed with nine other Chetnik commanders in Lysik Gipotik in the early hours of 18 July 1946. See also List of mass executions and massacres in Yugoslavia during World War II 